Check out this kid. He's got a yo-yo, but he only knows one trick. He can rotate the yo-yo in a circle over and over again, which probably isn't really a trick, but it lets us talk about two really important ideas in physics. The first idea is called the period. The period is the time it takes to complete one revolution or one entire cycle of a process. So for this yo-yo, the period is two seconds. What would happen if we decrease the period of the yo-yo? Let's say we decrease the period of the yo-yo to only one second. Would the yo-yo speed up or slow down? If I were learning this for the first time, I'd think that the yo-yo would slow down because we decreased the period, so the speed should decrease. But that actually makes no sense at all. If we decrease the period to one second, the time it takes to complete one circle is now only one second. This means it takes less time for the yo-yo to go in a circle, which means it's moving faster. So decreasing the period will speed up the process. And if we increase the period, the process has to slow down because the time it takes to complete one circle is now getting longer. Period has a partner variable called frequency. I say they're partners because while period is the number of seconds per revolution, the frequency is the number of revolutions per second. So the frequency in this case would be how many circles the yo-yo travels through in one second. This yo-yo doesn't even make it through a whole circle in one second. It only makes it through half a circle in one second. So the frequency would be 0.5 revolutions per second. People must have got tired of saying revolutions per second because now we use the unit hertz to stand for revolutions per second or cycles per second. So a physicist would say that this yo-yo has a frequency of 0.5 hertz. What would happen if we increase the frequency of this yo-yo to 4 hertz? Would the yo-yo speed up or slow down? This time, increasing the frequency to 4 hertz really does speed up the yo-yo. 4 hertz means 4 cycles per second or 4 revolutions per second. So now the yo-yo moves through 4 circles every second. Okay, those ideas are neat and all, but I know what you're thinking. I wish there was more math involved in this. If you want an equation that relates period to frequency, just remember that period is the number of seconds per revolution, and frequency is the number of revolutions per second, so period just equals 1 over the frequency, and frequency just equals 1 over the period. Oh, and one more thing. Sometimes you'll hear about frequencies given not in hertz, but in RPMs. RPM stands for the revolutions per minute. Hertz is revolutions per second, and RPM is revolutions per minute. Converting between the two isn't all that much trouble, because all you have to do is convert minutes into seconds. But be careful, since time here is in the denominator, you have to multiply hertz by 60 to get revolutions per minute, or divide revolutions per minute by 60 to get hertz. 